What's up guys, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Alright, so if you guys haven't, go check out the 5 star character review of Magic. This is a 3 star version of 5 star Phoenix Force Magic. Um, this one's Magic Dark Child, I think that's how you say it. I probably butchered it in, in the first video. Also, the last Phoenix 5 character that we're missing is 5 star Namor. Um, in the previous five star magic character review video that I did, I, I said, I, do, I think I said, I don't know why, um, magic feeds Namor, but now I know, um, four star Namor is going to feed five star Phoenix five Namor. And that's going to be cool when he gets released. He's the last one of the Phoenix Five. Then we have all the Phoenix Five plus uh, Five Star Jean Grey. Oh, maybe we're going to get like new Avengers for the Avengers versus X Men series when that happened, when that whole um, series happened. But, uh, anyways, enough of this uh, chitter chatter. All right, let's uh, let's get into this Three Star Magic Dark Child. I hope I'm not butchering that name. Um, strongest colors are black, red, purple, same as, um, five star magic. The crazy part about this is, I don't know, we're going to get into this, but this is crazy. Look at, there's two, like, she changes abilities, which is crazy. Um, let's see at the very bottom real quick. So yeah, um, in the other, the previous video that I uploaded, the five star magic, uh, character review, I said the... 3-star magic feeds Morbius, and I I meant that Morbius is probably going to feed 5-star Namor, not 4-star Namor feeding 5-star Namor. I literally got that confused um, in the beginning of this video. Sorry. Sorry for confusing everybody and myself, but uh, Morbius is going to feed 5-star Namor, which would be weird. Unless 4-star Namor feeds five star phoenix five namor when he comes out and they and they change this or like i don't know um anything could happen i confuse myself i confused you guys with that whole feeder thing i'm sorry apologize for that but uh yeah this is magic feeding three star magic feeding four star morbius it's either going to be a like i said in the previous video a new um spider-verse character i don't see why or they're going to change this into like her three star magic feeding four star Namor into five star Phoenix five Namor. Or they're just going to give us a five star Namor with a three star Namor. That way, regular four star Namor can, you know, three star to four star to five star. Um, enough confusion about the feeders. I'm sorry. I apologize for that again. All right. So let's get into this. Um, drag me to limbo. Black passive. Wait, it's a passive? These are all, are all these passives? Oh no. Oh no, they're not. Okay. So it's only this one. So drag me to limbo is a black passive. Passive, if you start, if you start your turn with more than 10 black AP, magic teleports the battle to limbo, reshuffling the board. Once there, once there, she succumbs to her darker half and dark child comes out to fight while your team has more than zero black ap magic's powers are replaced by new powers black matches do 50 percent more damage so she's gonna be somebody to use in three star line to speed things up speed your matches up with the matching so you either match black and deal more damage and your abilities change or you just don't match black tiles at all which is it's almost nearly impossible unless the board is has no black tiles on it which is crazy right so level three to level five this is a passive do 150 percent more damage 200 percent, and then 250 obviously you're going to want to put this one at five you want that extra match damage all right so when they transform the ability transform a demon queen of limbo black passive this one's a passive as well the other two are not this one is um now that dark child's power is unleashed both of her other powers become stronger but her teammates will take 28 damage each turn they're in limbo if you have zero black ap magics 
powers revert to her original powers. All matches do 50% more damage. Okay, so you're use your black abilities. Um, use your black AP and revert it back to drag me to limbo, or you can go to Demon Queen. So if you transform, if you have any, even one black AP. Drag Me to Limbo turns into Demon Queen of Limbo, and Soul Sword turns into Corrupted Soul Sword, um, so on and so forth. Dark Magic turns into Dark Child Magic. So, you want to use those abilities. Use 3 star uh, Iron Fist, 4 star Echo, stuff like that to combo into her second abilities. Um, so, level 3 to level 5, teammates will take 84, 112, 140. All, obviously, all matches do 150, 200, 250. So, like I said, you want this one at 5 if you want to deal that extra damage and you want to keep your uh, black tiles on the board and keep matching them and just use Iron Fist with her and you literally speed things up with, like, I think a PvP simulator for 3-star land team would be 3-star Iron Fist, 3-star Magic, and Thanos. So you can AoE hit, insta-kill, stuff like that. Um, Alright, so when you have no black AP... It's uh, Soul Sword, so magic brings her Soul Sword to every fight. Deals 84 damage, converts two random basic tiles to black strike tiles of strength 11. Okay, so 3-star Iron Fist and 3-star Magic is going to be a really good team. Because her red turns tiles into black strike tiles. He automatically has that attack tile. These strike tiles are going to increase that attack tile's damage. His purple... Which she doesn't use, well, she uses purple, but we'll, we'll see about that right now. His purple turns tiles into black, so you can focus into cascading black tiles and just increasing your match damage with his purple and her red. And you don't have, like, best build right now so far is 553, purple at 3, but we're gonna see about that. Um, and his green throws strike tiles out on the board as well, so that could be a new speed team in 3 star land. All their abilities are cheap. You activate them, almost insta-kills right away. The match damage and stuff like that. It's just like the synergies there with just those two abilities. And that's pretty much all you need right now. All right, now if you have black AP, which 99% of the time you're going to have black AP. Uh, Corrupted Soul Sword. This is the second ability of the red one. When you have black AP, no longer holding back. A Dark Child deals 323 permanent damage. And just so everybody knows, three star... Uh, magic is nothing like five star magic besides the permanent damage uh, ignoring enemy protectiles and destroys one enemy special tiles. also and this <laughs> this power also drains up to two black ap yo okay so if her purple is really good i'm still gonna use iron three star iron fist with her because wow uh, level three to level five level three 446 permanent 514 and 740 uh creates two turn repeater tiles uh, creates a two-turn repeater tile max level all right so level four it destroys three enemy special tiles so yes five five three i think would be her best build if you don't want the enemy having special tiles if you're in that mid three star land to four star land mmr and you're not really seeing crazy amounts of four stars but if you do see polaris this would be a really good ability to have and you could basically remove all the blue ap just by cascading over and over and over again. Um, let's see. Level 5. Destroys 4 enemy special tiles. Creates 4 strike tiles. Max level 2,308 damage. 243 strength tiles. Also, Iron Fist. Um, Magic and Polaris could be another team you could use. If you don't have the other 6 main 4 stars that you need. To progress in the game really fast. Um... This would be a really good team. Also, two-day PvP, Polaris, and three-star Magic seems pretty good as well. If you don't have four-star Rocket and Groot, um, that could get pretty ugly real f I could get real ugly, like, fast. All right, so Dark Magic, when you don't have no black AP, Magic calls upon Dark Powers to cast a spell, doing 167 damage and converting four random basic tiles to black tiles. Okay, so... She's Iron Fist in herself, like in itself. Iron Fist is black. Iron Fist is purple. Cost five. This costs six. Uh, you deal damage and convert four random basic tiles to black tiles. So they basically gave her Iron Fist ability as well. 
Um, when the enemy team makes a black match, Magic's team also gains one black AP. Yo, this is crazy. If they made her five star version like this, that would be pretty broken. I now I understand why this was why they made the three star version like this. Um, she's probably the best three star in the game now, next to Iron Man Model Forty and Thanos. Um, also, yes, Doctor Strange is one of the best three stars in the game, but he's a glass cannon. Nobody needs to get butt hurt. Um, I'll throw him in there. Uh, one black AP. Magic takes 20% less match and ability damage from supernatural enemies. Max level, 522 damage. So, 355 or 544. You activate this one time and your abilities are all going to change. So, 5... 3-5 would probably be the best thing I get at the strike tiles or 5-4-4. Four, four. I'd probably keep five I'd probably keep her black ability at five though because of that match damage. Alright, so level three to level five. Level three, five random basic tiles. Magic takes 30% less uh, damage. Uh max level of 694 damage. Uh level four deals 279 damage. Gain two black AP. Uh when the enemy makes a black match so this is automatically five so you're gonna just switch it five three five best build match black increase the match damage automatically throw her red out there when you need to if you happen to use it um let's see the strike tiles won't last that long on the board anyways because you're gonna match them turning them turning you know cascading and stuff like that Level 5, convert 7 random basic tiles. Magic takes 45% less damage. 35% um, for level 4, I forgot to read that. Max to level 872 damage. That's going to, this, the 872, if you have this at 4 and or at 5, the 1044, obviously is going to increase with the spamming of her red ability. Uh, magic takes 45% less damage from supernatural enemies, match damage, and ability damage. Um... And then when you activate that, obviously, you know, you have like a 90% chance of cascading if there's not already black tiles on the board. And then when you have the black AP, like I said, even if you have one black AP, it turns into the second ability, Dark Child Magic. Um, six purple AP. It's an active too, not a passive. So Magic casts a curse that deals 245 damage and converts one random basic tile to critical tiles. Yo, 535 best build right off the rip. There's no question about it. With this right here, that's insane. Uh, this power is also uh, this power also drains up to two black AP. Yeah, th there's no if ands or buts about it. This ability is insane. Uh, it's like a mini. She's like a mini America Chavez, Rocket and Groot, and Iron Fist put into one. They really did a good job with this character. Like amazing. But, uh, honestly, I think this character's 100 times better than iron man model 40 in a 1v1 she's winning 99.1 million percent of the time she's probably the number one three star in the game now that's crazy um Dre's two. okay so her passive when the enemy team makes a match in dark tile strongest color which is probably black yeah or friendly ap uh dark tile strongest colors colors or friendly ap is destroyed or stolen Dark Child's cast Dark Child casts a counter curse that deals 201 damage and accumulates one charge. At the start of her turn, Dark Child converts one random basic tile to a critical tile per accumulated charge. So she is like four-star Kitty Pride as well, because she throws a charge out on the board that actually deals damage and doesn't throw out critical tiles. That's insane. Um Dark Child takes 30% less match and ability damage from supernatural enemies. Yeah, she's going to speed things up so fast on her own with Thanos and 2-day PvP. It's going to be unreal. Um, you just need her and Thanos and 2-day PvP. Use her purple, spam it, increase the match damage. Throw out Thanos' purple. Um, if you happen to have that much purple AP, he jumps in front, tanks all the damage. He hits for AoE when you down an enemy, which is probably going to do so with her critical tile and her increased match damage with her black ability that's insane so deals okay level three level five deals 345 
damage. Counter Curse deals 285 damage, takes 40% less damage, max level 1079. That's like I said, this damage, all this damage is going to increase. Not a lot, but it's going to increase to, like, you'll notice the difference with her red ability and the track tiles. And the critical damage, uh, the critical tiles, excuse me. Um, level 4 converts two random basic tiles to critical tiles. Counter Curse deals 318 damage and accumulates two, charge, uh, two charges, takes 40% less damage. Max level 1079, uh, 989 curse damage, converts three random basic tiles to critical tiles. Okay, so yeah, 535 is her best build, no question about it. Like, no question to ask. 535, she's just like three or four characters put into one. This is insane. Um, you would think that they would s flip the script and make her five star version like this and her three-star version, like her five-star version, but I'm kind of glad that they gave us a three-star character to speed it up really fast to where you don't have to rely on four-star characters, those, those, you know, those main six or seven four-star characters that everybody tries to get when starting out in the game or playing the game. She's going to speed things up so fast, it's, un it's insane. Um, level five converts three random basic tiles to critical tiles. Converts three random basic tiles to critical tiles oh my god counter curse deals 300 and you're still dealing damage it's not a lot but you're still you're still dealing the damage and accumulates three charges takes 50 percent less damage from supernatural enemies max level 1079 like i said this is all going to increase with these critical tiles and strike tiles this character is broken in a good way this is ridiculous and then yet again i apologize for confusing everybody and confusing myself um, like I said, Magic is feeding all the way up to her 5-star version, which is good Colossus. Um, maybe they'll make a 4-star Colossus, who knows, I hope so. Um, they'll give us one 4-star for whatever Phoenix 5 characters are missing, like Colossus. Um, and then the, the whole 3-star Magic feeding Morbius into either 5-star Phoenix 5 Namor, I highly doubt that, but, um... They could release, like I said, a five-star Phoenix. Or they will eventually release a five release a five-star Phoenix Five Namor and a three-star counterpart to him to to you know like how Magic's feeding her four-star and five-star. That's what they're probably gonna do um, in the future. Hopefully, they do it next month or two months from now. That'd be amazing. I would love to have all of them in the game, especially these three-star character. Like this is ridiculous. And you pair her with Colossus. You use his black ability. Throw throw um three star magic in the air she comes down automatically uses her red or purple because those are only two active abilities so you're going to get a free ability with that team so two day pvp thanos magic or in my opinion i like colossus three star colossus with three star magic just to get that free ability out there you know combo and then he uses his yellow to tank which is pretty good that, like, three-star land's getting a lot more fun. A lot more fun, a lot more fast. You don't have to worry about, like I said, getting those characters in four-star land and skipping three-star land with these new three-star characters that they're releasing. It's just getting a lot faster. Um, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.